Hi friends and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make a uh, pepper chicken that I make. It's a very easy dish. Uh, what I have here is a small Cornish hen skinned and cut up. It's bone in. If you don't have Cornish hen, it's in India probably a country chicken or a small size uh, chicken is what you need. Uh, so that's been cut up into small size. I also have here uh, about one and a half cups of red onion, uh, finely chopped. And um, you could also use white onion if you want, but red onion is always a little more pungent and uh, suits our Indian cooking really well. I have here uh, two green chilies. These are pretty hot green chilies. And as you see, it's really big. So two of that, I have about 10 cloves of garlic and a, about a two inch piece of ginger. What I'm going to do with this is it's all three going to be ground together um, into a fine paste. I have for spice, I have pepper. Um, I'm going to uh, use a cinnamon, a, two, a small stick of cinnamon, about four cloves and four uh, cardamoms, some curry leaves. And he, over here I have um, a teaspoon of sonf uh, and a teaspoon of jeera. Uh, quite a, a big bunch of cilantro. It's uh, quite a bit of cilantro and probably a teaspoon of uh, turmeric and of course salt to taste. So let's go and see how we put this together. So to start the dish, I am going to make it in my Instapot, the first step of the dish. And if you don't have an Instapot, you could use a cooker. It doesn't matter. Um, I'm just used to using the Instapot. It's fast and easy for me. So I'm going to put the chicken in. To that, I'm going to add uh, the chopped onion, but I'm going to add three fourths of it. So I'm going to leave back probably a quarter cup of onion. I'm going to add the um, spices, that is the cinnamon, the clove and the cardamom. That goes in. The cumin and the um, sauce also goes in. A good amount of the uh, curry leaves I'm putting in. And the cilantro, I'm going to put in, say, about three-fourths of it. With this goes in uh, about a half a teaspoon of turmeric. And salt to taste. We can always adjust the salt later on, so not going to put a whole bunch. I'm going to add also the ginger, garlic, and green chili that I ground up. Get that in. Don't want to let anything go waste. And I'm going to go ahead and stir this. Mix everything up with the chicken. pretty simple dish I mean you can put it together leave it in the cooker uh, in the um, instapot it cooks by itself and then later on when you're ready you can take it out and fry it up so this first part of the dish is pretty easy to put together and even so I have still some ginger garlic left here. And what I need from this dish is I need, um, for this dish, I need about a half a cup of water. So I'm gonna add it to this. So I don't waste any of the uh, ginger garlic. So just half a cup of water because we don't want too much water and chicken cooks fast. It probably has its own water. So there, uh, half a cup of, uh, Water has gone in. Now all we do is turn the pressure cook on, um, turn the valve, um, put it on pressure cook. Um, 
put the timer on for 10 minutes. Chicken cooks really fast and it's going to cook one more time in a pan. So 10 minutes on pressure cook uh, with the Instapot. If you're cooking it in a, in a regular um, pressure cooker, then I guess um, two to three whistles should be good. So we're gonna let this cook and we'll come back and finish the dish. So um, the chicken has been cook, uh, cooking in the, um, cook, uh, in the Instapot for 10 minutes. It's ready. Um, so I have a pan which I've heated up really hot and I'm adding coconut oil. Uh, I'm adding about two teaspoons of coconut oil actually. Yeah, that's about all I need. I'm adding coconut oil because I like the flavor. Um, if you prefer um, olive oil or whatever cooking medium you use, that's perfectly all right. So as soon as this is nice and hot, I'm going to add the remaining onions that we had. Uh, we saved about a quarter a cup of onion. So I'm going to add that to the pan. And I'm going to saute this till it is brown. I will add a little bit of salt to this just to help the onions cook faster. And once it turns a little brown, then we'll go ahead and add all the liquid that's in the, in the chicken. So the onions have been sauteing on a high flame and they've turned color. They're turning a little brown. And so this right now, I'm going to just pour out all the liquid that's formed in the chicken. As you see, there is quite a bit of liquid. So I'm just gonna add this to the pan and let this cook down a bit. This is a kind of a dry fry. So we don't need all this liquid, but I don't want to lose this liquid. I want to condense it and keep it in the dish. So I'm going to just cook it down for a few minutes. But while it's cooking down, I have here the ground pepper um, that I um, saved. And so I'm going to add a teaspoon of the ground pepper. Now, if you want to add some more, we can probably, uh, you can add it maybe after we add the chicken and we fried it. But for now, I think a teaspoon should do. So this is on a high, we're gonna let this cook uh, and check back when it has reduced in uh, quantity. As you can see, this has been cooking uh, about four to five minutes and it's turned really thick. This time I'm going to toss in all the chicken. The chicken has all the onion, the cilantro, the spices, everything. And whatever's in the pot, Instapot is going into the pan. And, and now we're going to toss this all together. It's got a lovely green play, uh, color, um, quite a dark looking chicken, but it's not going to be um, a, a curry. It's going to be more like a, a fry with a with just a coating so this can be eaten with um, any Indian bread or it could be a side dish to um, a dal and um, rice you could have it with your dosa if you like so we're going to toss this and cook it all together maybe for about two minutes so for two minutes I have uh, put the lid on and cooked it just so everything mixes well and it's smelling delicious folks and right now I'm going to go ahead and add the cilantro that I saved with some of the curry leaves just to brighten up the dish get a bit of fresh uh, 
smell and taste. And that's it. This is our easy uh, pepper chicken. And um, do try it. If uh, you like this, do uh, leave your comments for me. Um, definitely subscribe to my channel. Um, I love seeing, uh, reading your comments. And I try my best to um, reply to them or to answer to any of your questions. Thank you again for being in my kitchen.